misspoke. I said this was a singles match. So what were you thinking? I said I was a singles. Oh God, I should have. I should have known better. You know, two types of people wear sunglasses indoors: blind people and assholes. And well, you know what these two are. Oh my God, I'm gonna throw up in my mouth. And we both know that Buff Dad's and two Buff's eyes work just fine. <sighs> I mean, the eyes work fine. I don't know. I heard, I heard the Buff Dad's got a lifetime supply of blue chew. Jeez Louise. Talk about airing out someone's dirty laundry. You know, I'll tell you this, though. I'll tell you this. Talking about two Buff, he and uh, the, um, the buffest of dads, they've always got some form of strategy. They've always got some sort of trick up their sleeve. Doesn't always work. Doesn't always work. And, and with, with a guy like Frank Bones on the other side of the ring from you, you know, you better pull out all the stops because not only is he technically sound, but he's a smart cookie in his own right as well. Oh, I could go for a cookie right now. Me too. I am starving. I, don't I had think nothing they to eat all day. One. So. the kind of attitude you need in life. You welcome the fight. You br bring all the smoke. That's the motto of that man right there, Frank Bones. And I'll tell you, I believe that motto, I believe that life mantra has gotten him through many of his matches. And in recent time, those matches that he's been winning in spectacular fashion. Yes, sir. And you know, you make reference to him winning in spectacular fashion. Conversely, Tubuff hasn't set the world on fire the last couple of months, coming off a loss to the mighty Bosch. He's going to look to maybe recoup and get back on his winning ways, and I'm sure Buff Dad's going to play a big part in that if he has a chance to. Oh, I wouldn't be in the least bit surprised, my friend. Referee Tyler Calloway likely to have his hands full. He should just throw that old man out of here right this second. Well, it seems as if he's giving him fair warning that, you know, he, he's not allowed in the match. He didn't sign a bout agreement. Thanks. Goodbye. I'm proud of you. Got a boy. It only took two matches for you to figure out this highly complicated system of a bell and a, and a hammer chained to said bell. Multitasking. Things are looking up. No, All right. Real house. Uh, too buff fighting a fair fight isn't in his wheelhouse, but fighting any kind of fight is in the wheelhouse of Frank Bones. They haven't even touched yet, and too buff, um, buff dad is getting involved. Well, that's 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 Come on, buff I mean, incorporated 101. That's just what they do. You would think he would help if, if Tubuff was in trouble, though. Like, come on. Like you said, you, you talked about it going into this matchup. He's steamed, all right? He's not happy with how he's been doing in the rankings. Oh, look at this! Such agility by one Frank Bones. Did you see the vertical he got? He, yeah, he got up there. He's got some ups, as the kids say. Do the kids even say that anymore? Oh, no, we're dating ourselves. Oh, wow. We? Hey, can somebody edit that out? Thanks. And we are live! All across the world. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh! Close, but no cigars! Frank Bones goes right back to the arm. You know, we talked about focusing on a body part as, a, as, as employing strategy within a wrestling match, and that's exactly what's going on here. Oh! Handful of hair! Too buff looking to get this hold broken the cheap way. Desperate times call for desperate And business. speaking of desperation, get that geriatric off the apron! One of these times he's going to break a hip getting up there. I know it. And we are downstairs below the church. Uh, there would. Do you know my wife would be the one to have to come here and carry him out because she's on the Providence Fire Department? That, I hope she drops him if he has a broken hip. <laughs> I hope so. All bias aside. Whoa, look at this. Beautifully executed sunset flip. But <laughs> Tubuff finds himself in a precarious position here. He not, not quite know what to do with himself. He wants to take advantage. Frank Bones, the technician though, did not lose his place. He knew right where he was. 
I don't think Tubuff knows where he is at all right now. He might be a little dizzy after that exchange. Bones up to his feet. Oh, solid vertical base. Follows through with a spinning back fist and a jumping spin kick with precision. Very well done. I don't think Frank Bones would necessarily mind a count out victory. I don't know if, oh, apparently he's not gonna have much choice in the matter. I guess they're leaving. Ah, uh, oh, come on. Oh, wait a minute. You sit corrected, my friend. Frank Bones, oh! Ever the innovator with a leaping knee ends up seating the buff down in the first row of our audience. We got a little 401 action here. Oh my goodness. This is a place of worship. Stop that right now. And we just became TV 14 in the basement of a church. RWA strives to reach new lows. If this was an old chop shop chair, easy for me to say, that he was sitting in, it would have collapsed 40 seconds ago. <laughs> Frank Bones, up and over. Beautifully done. That's, that's usually the end. What's he measuring them for? He's got Frank, something on the mind. Frank Bones. He's got a, oh, look at this. Oh, come on! I give him credit. That was a crafty maneuver right there. Timing on the buff that impeccable for his old age at 114 years old. Timing aside, it's illegal. Yeah, we covered that. <sighs> Too buff now. He's got Frank Bones isolated. Smack dab in the middle of the ring. Nowhere for him to go. And just like that, the wind has been taken out of Frankie Sales. Two buff off the ropes. Lands that just where he needs to. It might have been a glancing blow. I don't think he caught all of it. Frank Bone's doing his best to shake it off. Now just Ugh. adding insult to injury. Just, just, just Pressing up against the, the cranium of Frank Bones. Do you know what kind of world of hurt that puts you in? And I'm asking the average viewer, not you, T. Phoenix. You've seen this, you've done this plenty of times in your past. Yeah, maybe a time or two. Do you know this is the first legacy I haven't wrestled? Ever? Really? First one. Well, there is a, there's a first time for everything, I guess. I guess so. I, you know what? I don't mind. I don't mind not getting up the next day sore. Drop kick in the corner again. I don't think he got all of it. And of course, the buff dad doing his worst on the outside. It's gonna be very close to over for Frank Holmes right now. Give him credit though. Still kicking out, still a little bit of fight in Frank Bones. Oh, there's still a lot of bit of fight in Frank Bones. That's just a lifestyle, baby. Look at this. Two buff looking for that backslide. Coming up a little bit empty. Great Got reversal. Got him. It was pretty and effective. named yet again he stands tall in victory I don't know T Phoenix if you can run it by our new boss the Commissioner Morales you're looking at a championship contender oh absolutely and this is actually something that David Morales agrees on I, I was shocked and the well, guy's got a knife it's Highland there is championship gold opportunities in Frank Bone's future I can promise you that well I'll say this he might not have won in the most spectacular of fashions, although that was a pretty crafty maneuver, if I say so myself. The win-loss record continues to, to shine in his favor. <laughs> I could say the exact opposite here for Buff Incorporated. He, he just pushed his own dad. You can see he's clearly frustrated. Well, you know, that's, that, that's family stuff, and I'm sure they'll patch it up, honestly. But they threw everything they had at him, all the usual... Buff Inc. tactics and it didn't get the job done. Frank Bones came prepared.